Let's write expressions and equations. You need some keywords that you're going to look for when you are writing expressions and equations, either when given mathematically with words or from word problems. So addition, let's think about some words that could signal addition in a word problem. Sum, all together, increase, more, plus, total. There are more, but these are going to be some of the most common ones that you see in word problems that signal addition. Over here to subtraction, we have a few words that are common. Difference, decreased, less, fewer, and minus. Now, if you read a word problem and you don't see any of the words listed here, or you don't see any keywords at all, really, you have to think about the what's happening and context and figure out which operation makes the most sense. And you might have to try one operation, and if you get an answer that's just totally off the wall, then try a different operation. So keywords that can signal division, quotient, divided, and you'll usually see this either saying divided by or divided into. Per, per can also be multiplication, share, or split. And if at any point you need to pause this so you can catch up with copying, please feel free to do so. Okay, words that signal multiplication. I already said per, times, and product. There aren't as many words for multiplication, but you'll know it when you hear it. Then we have some additional things, some additional terms here. You've heard about the terms for addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication before, but this time we're going to be dealing with parentheses. And parentheses will also, it won't be a single word, but there'll be terms. So you'll see either the sum of or the difference of. And I would definitely give you examples of this. So you might look at this and think, oh, well, it's got difference and of. It means subtract and multiply. And you actually would be completely correct. So we'll see that in an example in just a little bit. Equal sign, the keyword for equal sign is is. And then exponents. This can show up a couple different ways. You see double, squared, triple, quadruple, and so on. Usually you won't see um, any more than quadruple. Okay, so you have these terms, and now let's put them to use. So each of these is a variable. So how would you say 8x? You wouldn't just read it x. There's a couple, or I'm sorry, you wouldn't just say, oh, that's 8x. You could say it a couple of different ways. If you look up here, multiplication, you could say 8 times x, or you could say the product of 8 and x, you could say eight times a number. There are many different ways you could say this. And often when it's a variable, we do say a number. We don't just say x. So this next one here, you could say the quotient of a number in four. You could say a number divided by four. So I'll just write the quotient of a number and four. But again, there are a couple of different ways. So you can write whichever one you choose. Um, nine pl plus x can be read as the sum of nine and a number. It can be read as nine plus a number, a number more than nine. This one, you might think it's the same, but it's actually not. It's different from the one above and we're going to look at how. So this time we can say nine more than a number because nine is coming at the end. So if you have nine more than something, it means you started with a different amount and then you added nine onto it. Whereas the one before you started with nine and you added another amount onto it. 
1 half x can be read as half a number, and it could also be read as a number divided by 2, or um, the quotient of a number in 2, because when you take half of a number, you divide it by 2. Okay, so down here, these are just a couple of samples between um, the differences between an expression and an equation. So an expression is a mathematical statement without an equal sign or inequality symbol. where as an equation is a number sentence with an equal sign. It has two balanced sides. And I'm gonna jump down to the examples real quick. So an expression might be three plus two, an equation would be three plus two equals five. And both sides are balanced because three plus two equals five, and then five is five. So let's jump back up. An expression is not a number sentence with an equal sign or an equality symbol. If you see an equal sign or inequality symbol, it is not an expression. And an equation is not an expression or inequality. So another an example of an expression with variables this time would be five times the sum of x and two and then turning that into an equation, five times the sum of x and two would be 30. So that's the difference between an expression and an equation. So we're gonna try this out right here. Um, so your steps are going to be determine if you're writing an expression or an equation, identify the operation, define your variable, so when we were talking about a number, you're going to actually define what that is, and then you're going to actually write the expression or the equation. So let's look at this question. M of I is X rolls of toilet paper. So we know there's our variable, I'm sorry, paper towels, <laughs> for 89 cents each. And a box of trash bags for $4. So we do not know how much she spent in all, so we are going to be writing an expression. Now it's time to go back and look and see whether or not, um, what, what keywords are in here. So I see the word each and the word and. So if I'm reading this, I hear that we are going to be needing multiplication and addition. So um, circle the word or words in the scenario that identify the operation. I just highlighted them. You could highlight or circle. Define your variable. Well, it tells us that the variable is going to be X, but what do they stand for? It says X rolls of paper towels. So X is going to be equal, equal to the number of rolls of paper towels. And then write the expression or equation. So paper towels are 89 cents each. She buys X, we don't know how many, and there's a plus sign, trash bags for $4. Now let's look, we're still talking about Emma. She's still buying paper towels. Again, X rolls of paper towels, 89 cents, box of trash bags for $4. Now we see she spends a total of 14. So our keywords, 
are going to be each and and then we see total so that tells us that this time we are going to be writing an equation the operations that are needed again are multiplication and addition circle the words that identify the operations we already did that it's each and and then total define the variable once again it's going to be the number of rolls of paper towels so we can copy our expression from above 0.89 x plus 4 but we know she spent her total was $14 so it's going to look a little bit different so what are the differences and similarities between the two scenarios above the second gives the total that's the difference and then honestly everything else is the same so we don't need to write that out but once you see that a total was spent on money um, a total time was spent running total distance covered driving um, then you know that you're looking at an equation instead of an expression